What's poppin' everyone? It's your boy Joe Ratchet. I am going to be talking to you and letting you guys know a little tutorial on how to get transparent apps for your background with the new iOS 14 update. You guys can follow this video. My example is going to be right here. I know a lot of people have done lots of customization, but this is how you can get transparent apps in your phone and have it cool for whatever you want and whatever pictures you want to put in. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on what you guys will need and it's free. It just takes some time. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So for the first step, you'll need to find a background wallpaper. Second, you need to organize your apps and widget smith elements to their positions. If you don't know how to get the widget smith elements, you need to download the widget smith app and go from there. Next, you need to download the logos or the images that will represent each of your apps on your lock screen. All right, so now it's time to start editing. Uh, we could use Pixlr since it's kind of like a free Photoshop. What we're going to do is open image from computer. I have my stuff saved on my desktop. Go ahead and look for that background that you'd like. Open another image. You're going to go ahead and choose the first page of what you want your phone to look like from here i'm looking at the dimensions it's going to be 1242 by 2688 and that is the dimensions that i want for this image so i'm going to go ahead and go to image image size i'm going to type that in so it is 1242 and then the height comes out to 2688 depending on your iphone that is the dimensions that you would want so from here, you could go ahead and just exit that out. Click on the image again, and you're gonna go to layer, open image as layer, select that same exact image, paste it right in. And then from here, what you're gonna do is zoom in, zoom, 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 zoom. We're gonna start off with Twitter. What we're gonna do is use the marquee tool right here and we are going to get the best square possible. There you go. From there, you're gonna go ahead and press file, new image. We're gonna make a little square for that one. Let's name that one Twitter because that's the app we're working on right now. Let's make it 500 by 500 as well as make it transparent, press okay. So we have the image right here. Let's shrink it down a little bit to make it easier on the eyes. From here, what we're going to do is go back to the original image, go to your layers, unlock your background image, or yeah, you can unlock it. Um, deselect layer one, go back to the image right here, press control C that copies the square from the marquee tool, go to your Twitter image and then press command V to paste it in from there we're gonna go to edit and then free transform make sure you press shift while you do this so you get it to be pretty much exact press return and then from there you could whoops let's go back to the original image so we could see everything again all right so now that you have the Twitter square right here, you're going to go ahead and press layer, press open image as layer. And this is how I sorted mine. I had the app logos of all the apps that I'd like to do. So let's go ahead and just look for the Twitter logo. So I have it right here. This is a secret wand tool right here to get rid of that white spot and that white square. Let's go ahead and just click on it, press delete, and then once you're done with the wand tool, just press the marquee again, marquee tool, and then that'll have it right there. Because I want that this layer and image to be white, I'm going to go ahead and press adjustments, brightness. Let's change that baby up to a hundred. And then from here, we're going to change the opacity too, because I want it to look kind of opaque. So I changed that to opacity of 60 and then depending on how big I want it, I'm going to go ahead and go back to free transform 
I want it a little bit bigger. All right, there you go. Press return. And then from here, you could go ahead and save that image, name that Twitter, and then press OK. I'm mean, saving that onto my desktop right here. I am going to do finish logos, Twitter. I already made one that says Twitter bird, but this one's going to be Twitter. Press save. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and airdrop it or email or message it to your phone. And let me go ahead and choose Joseph. That's me. What's good. And then from here, now that we have it onto my phone, from here, we're going to go ahead and go to shortcuts. And then we're going to go ahead and press that add button, press add action. You're going to go to open app, open app down here. What we're going to do is choose Twitter because that's the one we are going to add. Press next. And since it's going to be Twitter, I'm naming it Twitter. So from here, you're going to go ahead and press those three little circles. From here, you're going to go ahead and press the three circles again. Press add to home screen. Click the logo. You're going to choose photo. That's the photo I'm choosing. Press add. Add it to home screen. Done. We're going to swipe up and look at the home screen here. Now all I need to do is bring this all the way over to where my Twitter, whoops, where my Twitter is at, was at. I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. Not delete it, but move it to the app library. So then that spot right there where the Twitter is, is going to take that transparent looking background. It's not actually transparent. It's just going to be from where that app is that's why it's in very important to have each app in the placement prior to doing all of the editing so just lay it out just like how i had it here All right, guys, that is my tutorial for how to get transparent apps with the new iOS 14 update. If you guys like this video, please don't hesitate to subscribe down below and check out all of my different content on my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>